Wow, that's new. Oh, there it is. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to Pat Outdoors. Hope you're having a great weekend. Unfortunately, I have to go to work right now on a Saturday, but it should still be a good day since my coworker mentioned that he is going to be bringing a unique electric PEV for me to work on today. So let's go see what it is. Dude, this is crazy. Oh, so it's not even assembled, man. This is great. So the first thing is really just to hook this thing up on a charger. Wait, you got a back for me, right? You all right with your back? This is sick. Man, I'm super fucking excited for you. Yeah, I'll help you, man. I'll get this together. I'll get this thing running. Submit your controller back. The fact that it has rubber tires on it, that's what makes it now. Now it's like, you can turn this into a serious toy. Maybe that's what I've been waiting for this whole time. Come to it. I gotta slow down, I'm like too excited. <laughs> all right, let's just build covers. Yeah, you just screw them on one. So Radio Flyer put out a recall last year, I think October 2022, to deactivate all of these Tesla cyber quads because there were adult riders riding these things and getting hurt. So they were giving people who bought them full refund if you just send the controller back. So what I'm gonna do today is take out the original controller and get this thing running on a standard brush controller. Don't do it, man. <laughs> Production manager about to get my ass fired for working on a Tesla during work. Even though we work on Teslas here all the time. So this thing runs off of a 36 volt lithium battery pack. It's pretty slick. This is what the charger looks like. It just slips right into the back. Assembly wise is very similar to my razor projects. Like this is just a brushed motor, very similar to like a MY1020. And then this is just a mountain bike rear shock. Slide the battery in, see if it turns on. Damn. I gotta see what the what it does before it do modify it. Yeah. All right. One. That's it. I'm not really sure what those two are. are I think out? one is speed. I don't know. Oh wow! Yeah, it's got front and back plates. Come on. Yeah. Uh, Wow, that's maybe why. It it's got reverse. That's pretty cool. All right, where am I riding this, Anton? Can't hit a Rolls Royce. Oh, this is sketchy. Oh, there's a faster speed. Oh, there it is.
That is not too bad. Oh yeah, it's sketchy. It wants to tip over. <laughs> it's pretty slick. Yeah, now it feels like it wants to tip over a little. Fuck it, whatever you think. Now that I have a general baseline of the performance of this thing, it's time to take it apart so we can take out the controller. He can send it out for the refund process and then get a better look at the electronics, see how we can upgrade it. Or, you know, chores, you know, you gotta do them. Is it? They started it like a decade ago. The controller across the country. They got the fan box around the back place. Every like darker color carbon box, you get that thing twice. You did an initial. I got a car. And when you got the job, they knew that he was in the military and that he wants to four months. And I kept it. Yep. He's got so now I just gotta unplug all the harness connectors. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. <laughs> what was that noise? You heard that shit? It sounded like somebody talking. All right. So this is pretty much basic standard bullshit there, right there. Yeah, they make it seem complicated, but it's not as complicated. But they want the, the, where the battery goes, that's what they want. Yeah, so this yeah. is just the... <clears throat> Why is this shit look familiar? This, so this man. is the only pain right there. Yeah, this is the only pain because like, this is not a standard plug you can just buy. But that's the power source, that's how it gets power from the battery. It slips and on is that way. just like a, that's already heat shrunk on and everything or that pulls off? That's already heat shrunk on. Just in case. You'll notice this one has more plugs because there's reverse, sure. there's brake input and stuff. This is just from a generic Chinese electric bike conversion kit. But I can use this to make the quad run, but it's not gonna have the reverse function. Right. I just made a makeshift adapter to supply power from the battery to the controller. This is just a generic electric bike controller with a thumb throttle with an on off switch. In theory, this should at least get this quad running in the most basic form. I do not recommend you try this at home. This is just for my own personal experimentation. So I'm gonna go positive. It works. All right, guys, I was able to put my buddy's Tesla cyber quad together and we we're both able to test drive it before I took the controller out so he can start the whole refund recall process and get his money back. That thing's pretty cool. It's not that fast in standard form. It does feel faster than 10 miles an hour on mode two though. And it's got some rubber tires on it. They're not like plastic standard power wheels tires. And it's got a disc brake rotor rear similar to the MX 650s. So it's got some potential for upgrades here. Also, after reviewing the electronics, I was able to get it running with like a standard brushed 500 watt 36 volt controller that I used with one of my old electric bike conversions. So we kind of changed up the plans. Instead of putting it back together with that controller, he decided he wants to upgrade it similar to my razors so we can double up the speed on this thing. So. He's going to be ordering a Kunray brushless motor kit with an MY1020 motor. And I'm going to make that work with this battery so we can get the most power and speed out of this cyber quad. So that's the plan for that. If you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor and hit that like button. If you want to keep up with this project or any of my other builds, consider subscribing to this channel. But this is going to be it for today. Thank you for watching. <laughs>